welcome to Simply Drawful. I'm Tay. With me today, I have Christian. What's up? I have Kay. Yo. So, some of you might remember, way back in October, uh, we did an episode where we created like a reverse horror film where it was like the mythical creatures were in the high school, the humans were the bad guys, I think we called it Monster High or... No, we didn't because of legal reasons. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, we called it something else, I don't remember. We just kept referring it to it as the reverse horror film. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyways, this is kind of a spin-off of that episode. We wanted to make kind of like a Star Trek, Star Wars, Gal- Guardian of the Galaxy type of show but we wanted with mythical creatures. So we realized we have a universe where that's set up. So this is just going to be a Star Wars type, Star Trek type TV show in that mythical reverse horror film high school. So it's just monsters in space. <laughs> monsters in space is basically what we're yes. trying to go for. <laughs> yes. The short of it is monsters in space. Christian is up now. And Christian, what are you drawing for us? All right. So in our initial discussions, we kind of talked about like common tropes that are seen in um, those like sci-fi space yeah. dramas, space operas, as it were. Yeah. And there's always like the like the sarcastic rebel, like the hero. And there's always like one woman. I mean, yeah. one or two, if you're lucky. Star Trek yeah. is a little better with that. Yeah. Star yeah. Trek is a lot better with that. For sure. So basically, I wanted to take that character and I'm going to draw like a badass like pixie, who's basically like the Gamora of the group. Okay. So like, she, it, is she like the Lieutenant Worf? Worf so she's, she's just either way the security officer, right? Basically, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. I can just see her it, taking somebody off the bridge by just yanking them by their ear and oh, just like yeah. <laughs> bringing them to yeah. the brig. Yeah. And she's literally just like four inches tall. Oh, this is yeah. great. Like her <laughs> blades are like toothpicks, but she can. <laughs> They're deadly. So, yeah, They're, she's pretty badass. Yes. All of her comrades know like not oh. to mess with her. Yeah. And that's what makes her like the perfect. I think she probably was like first pixie who proved herself. They could be in this federation of monsters. Oh, oh yeah. So if we're not doing Starfleet, we could do like Galaxy Garrison. <laughs> the Galaxy Garrison. I like that. Alliteration yeah. is it all better. She's the first pixie allowed to be a security officer in the Galaxy Garrison. What do most, they usually? Most pixies are usually like nurses or you know medical things help you out oh, there. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, she was the first who was just like, I like to murder things, and they're like, Yes, you do. You're, you're, you're pretty <laughs> ethical in it. Let's go through training. All right. So what's her name? Pixie names and fairy names mm-hmm. are all like super magical, but I wanted like space themed. Maybe like Comet Tail. Oh yeah. Or That's like cute. yeah. Yeah, Comet Tail. Commander Comet Tail. <laughs> and everyone like giggles at first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? That's so cute. Comet Tail. Yeah. So adorable. I will end her life right now. Like <laughs> she again, like she literally grabs him by the ear. Yeah. And stuff. <laughs> and like picks them up off the ground and they're like, oh no, how did this happen? And they're like, what? So we talked a little more about just this universe or this show's universe. It takes place in the future, but unfortunately. Humans never really learned to get along with other humans and pretty much have wiped themselves out. Basically. Uh, so they're now the minority. Um, so the monsters and mythical creatures have just pretty much left from their little, like, underdwelling or wherever we had them living and now have just populated the planet Earth. There are humans around. They still help out. They still do things. There's just not a lot of them. So NASA's gone. NASA's but now gone. It's... And then they, like I said, they eventually got off the planet and met other creature, other aliens and creatures and monsters from other planets, formed the the Galaxy Garrison. And here we are now. Uh, the year 2462. <laughs> She's my favorite already. <laughs> right? Her hairstyle, you guys can't see it at home. It's basically Kay's hairstyle. Yeah. I, I was just like, I want to cosplay this. Like, <laughs> right? I want you to cosplay this. Right? <laughs> But what can you tell us more about Comet Tell? She probably has the most tenure in the whole, out of everybody, like in the Galaxy Garrison. Okay, she's been there the long, like she's been on other ships. Yeah, probably. I would imagine like she had like a tragic backstory. Yeah. Like she's probably kidnapped. You know, no, no tragic backstory. Right. She just likes to screw things up. She she's likes to badass. beat things up and it just is a perfect fit for her and she's doing her life's work. There is no reason to give her a tragic <laughs> That's backstory. Fair. That's her tragedy. Is that she doesn't have a tragedy. Yeah. <laughs> she doesn't have a tragedy. She is just, she the can most, be awesome the without most, having... That's true. Yeah. See, That's the most fair. tragic thing that's happened to her, probably spent some time in jail. That's really probably... Probably. But, you know... Just for I, bar fights, you know, nothing yeah. like... I don't think she's actually murdered anyone. No. She's but probably the most capable of doing it out of everyone. Yeah. Oh yeah, here. she's capable, but she knows how to hold back. I would just like to see somebody who likes beating stuff up just because because we have like that for we have that for like dude characters. Yeah, that's Cap- it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I think that's it. That's her. Perfect. She nice. Looks, she looks nice. She does look like a badass. She does. And a cool military uniform. I do like that uniform. Yes, that cool. is pretty cool. 
All right. Perfect. So who's next? I guess I'll be up. All right. Cool. All right. All right. So we need a hero. And Star Trek's actually really good about this, but let's call out all of the other, you know, right. sci-fi so, shit. So we're looking for a hero that's like the equi- the monster equivalent of a cis white dude <laughs> uh, in his 20s. For right? sure. Um, probably named Chris, because that's... We're totally going to name him Chris. Yes. What is that monster? Which I think we found the perfect one. So what are you drawing, Tay? I'm drawing a Jersey Devil. <laughs> <laughs> he totally is, is like... Is he a Jersey Shore Devil? He is a fan of the ancient Earth classic Jersey Shore. Yes. <laughs> oh my god, amazing. The narrative is really told through him? Or he's like just like the main character? He's just the captain. Much like Star Trek, each episode will kind of focus on a character, you know, a group of characters. So sometimes, yeah, he'll have the spotlight. Sometimes he'll be there, you know, captaining the ship, but it'll right. focus more on, you know, uh, Comet Tail or Kay's character. <laughs> She's going to be drawing. <laughs> Maybe their romance triangle. I don't know. So Jersey Devils, for those who don't quite know... <laughs> Are like dragon goat saber. Like, yeah, like he definitely demon. has like the face of a goat, but he has. He, Jersey Devil does have like dragon wings, at least from the references that we saw. Yeah. Yeah. So this is Chris. Chris, this, <laughs> the Jersey Devil, or sometimes they call him just JD. JD. <laughs> he's totally. He's totally a JD. Like a Chris JD. Yeah. He he gets upset sometimes. Like I, I don't know why they call me JD. My name's Chris. <laughs> I mean. My middle name's JD. But, <laughs> but they should it, call me Chris or maybe even CJD because everyone should see me. <laughs> CJD. He's full of himself. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yeah. He doesn't deal with he sleeves. He doesn't need sleeves. He doesn't like Who sleeves. needs sleeves when you're the Jersey I, Devil? How many characters? Fist bump? I was like, how many oh, characters have I drawn now that don't have, like just have ripped their sleeves <laughs> off? Oh yeah, throughout this whole show, I want him to say fist bump every time like they beat somebody. Oh yeah, or like at the end of the episode, he's like fist bump. Hey yo, and everyone just kind of like, oh my god. Oh, he starts out definitely just kind of the super bro character. Everyone's just kind of like, oh, he's the captain. <laughs> right. But they're annoyed with him. And I think he would actually grow, though, as a, as a monster. Oh, for sure. And eventually you, you get to the point where he's not this annoying bro guy. He's actually a little more okay. Right. Just imagine JD, like, not wearing pants and they ask him about it. And he's like, pants are like sleeves for legs. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, that, right. That sounds about right. Well, that sounds right. And Comet don't need him, <laughs> right? And Comet tells in the back, like, "Oh God, kill me right now." <laughs> so he's definitely the type who's just like you solve problems by punching them. Oh yeah, that's how you solve problems. Oh man, now I need to know because like goats have very specific pupils. I wonder if he does. Oh yeah. Okay. Because I that could also be something that everybody wants to know. <laughs> yeah, what yeah. What do pupils look like? Because maybe they don't. Maybe because... Right, maybe... like, they're all wondering, like, is he blind? Or does he yeah. have one eye? Or <laughs> they're, like, all thinking about, like, why does he wear shades all the time? Yeah. Why does he have that Pfizer? One of his ancestors is a human. Right. And so, they actually, that's why he wears the sunglasses <laughs> is because see. his pupils are human. And, like, you can tell, like, that's where his human shows through. So he has to Oh, that would be cool. He's, like, one thirty-second human. Yeah. What if he has... Has almost heterochromia, where like one iris is like the goat eye. Oh, yeah. And then one is like the human. <laughs> yes. Oh, that would make it so hard to see. I would imagine. Oh, right. Oh. Maybe the visor actually corrects it. Yes. That would be really so cool. So everyone thinks it's just because he's like, oh, he just thinks he's so cool. He wears this damn visor. But really, it's because, oh, my. He needs to like he equalize needs... things to have binoculars. Yeah. Vision. And yeah. that's, and he comes out during like the tragic backstory moment. Because <laughs> everybody thinks, like, oh, this guy, JD, is just so cool. Well, he has no problems in the world. That's why he wears that cool visor. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> I've been mad. I've been fun of my whole life. Takes him off and just googly eye on him. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Aww. Does he have a captain's... Like, how is he distinguished as a captain? So, so like... their insignia is the sun. And the more planets you have around your sun, <laughs> the better. Okay. Yeah, that works. <laughs> it's very bedazzling. Yes. I imagine just like jewels. That's a funny yeah. picture. It's, just, it's yes. just a shiny jewel is the insignia. And then it's just little pin planets that go around it. Uh, like a Boy Scout. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Yes. 
JD. JD. Chris JD. Chris, Chris JD. JD. <laughs> Fist bump. <laughs> All right, and Kate. Ties up. Yes. All right, so Kay, who are you drawing? So I'm drawing their chief science officer. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I was thinking that maybe some sort of Cthulhu esque type oh, of, nice. of creature. And then I found this picture, uh, this reference picture of an octopus, and it was doing the Ojo Sama laugh. So. <laughs> um, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so mm-hmm. I think that is definitely what I want to be doing. What if she laughs like that because she is into like anime from Earth? <laughs> that's her. Int- <laughs> well, I mean, JD is in Jersey yeah. Shore. Yeah, so that's her introduction to like human culture was anime. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, she's like a she- giant nerd and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, she's a scientist. Oh, for so. sure. Yeah. Most scientists are. She had, like, one of her shelves in her study is just, like, full of, like, manga. Yeah. Oh, my God. I love her. Now, Cthulhu is kind of overpowered in the mythical creature universe. It's maybe an offspring of Cthulhu. Yeah. Okay. So how does she sit at her station if she's so large? I I think they have a special room for her. So kind of like in the Doctor and Voyager, like, the first few seasons where, like, he would just calm in because he couldn't leave the medical bay. Oh, probably. Or maybe they designed the ships around, you know, it's like, we have some big-ass monsters. We need oh, yeah, them. they would have to be able to accommodate for, like, creatures of different sizes. Yeah. So, I mean, how tall is she? Would you be? Would she be, like, the Chewy of the group? I think just a little bit bigger, because, okay. I mean, you've seen pictures of Cthulhu. Oh, yeah, massive. Maybe she has, like, a mass displacement thing that can make her, like, the size of everybody else. Okay. Oh, that, yeah. I can dig that. Maybe that's just that species has a power to change, you know, size. For sure. It's like, this is our actual size, but we can go down to human size. Human size, or- average size. Can she change to even smaller than that? You had mentioned like, oh, yeah. like she, she could be like Cometail's backup. Yeah. Like if she yeah. like inf- like infiltrated some shit. Yeah. What What's her name? Something that would cause you incredible pain and discomfort oh upon hearing it. <laughs> okay. All right. So we're going to need a nickname for her then. Doc? Is she a medical doctor or is she a science, like, or, no, PhD doctor? No, yeah, she's doctor. a PhD doctor. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. She can't actually speak English. I mean, not speak any, like, language that they can understand or... Uh, somebody can. Right. But because we kind of want her to be the witty, sarcastic one that's always thinking <laughs> that no one understands, but you just get the point by the reaction to the translator. Yeah, true. I'm like, I can't believe you said that. <laughs> right, right, right. So is she, is she out, like... In the field, so to speak, like does she go on missions with them? Oh yeah, she can like stretch all. Oh of her sure. Ass. Yeah. And does she like na- does she kind of like navigate the planet for everybody? Like okay, the atmosphere is this, this, and that. Like don't eat those berries, yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Yeah. There we have. Or Doc. Or Doc. Yeah. <laughs> you can't actually say her I name um, because it will cause you to have extreme ear bleeding type of deals there. Yeah. That, well, that sense. Well so. done, everyone. <laughs> All right. I'm really proud of us. Cool. Well, all right. That's going to do it for us. Uh, thanks for watching Simply Drawful. Remember, comment down below on any future suggestions you might have for us to draw. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and ne- don't forget to tune in next time. Woohoo! <laughs> see ya! Thanks for watching. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos by us, click the thumbnails. It should take you to one of our latest video antics. And as always, be sure to like and subscribe to help us out. Or you can click here to support us over at Patreon to help us create even more quality content. Until next time, thanks again for watching.